Hello everyone, Philip here. I'm going to be reviewing the first two episodes of Has Been Hotel. I'm not going to be showing any clips from it as they are just leaks right now and I'm just going to give a broad opinion about it. And to make things a little bit more fun, I'm going to conduct this episode in the way of a Has Been Hotel character myself. Uh, as you can see, I was in the background of one of the- oh wait, you can't see because they're just leaks. Why are you watching leaked content, you absolute subhuman? But I'm going to conduct myself in the way of the characters, just to kind of uh, immerse myself in the world of Has Been Hotel. So what the fuck am I talking about? Well, the fucking show got leaked two days early by some Discord person who just- is an elite fucking hacker group and fucking loves to do this kind of stuff. But that's not what the fuck I'm here to talk about. I'm actually just here to fucking talk about the show. How the fuck am I enjoying the first two episodes right fucking now? Well, it's a fucking mixed bag of shit. If you couldn't fucking catch on right now, you can clearly tell by my fucking mannerisms that this is how the characters fucking act. This is how they fucking talk. They always say the worst fucking things ever. Because that's the fucking way they were written. Saying the word f after every fucking sentence is fucking horrible writing. Why? Because the f word or f doesn't really have that much fucking meaning to it now. Fuck is usually used as a very harsh fucking word. You say fuck when something crazy has happened. You have no other expectation of something. Fuck. What? Or you're very fucking angry. Or you're very fucking sad. Like fuck, man. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. It's a very fucking extreme word. But when you use a fucking word all the fucking time, eventually the fucking word kind of fucking diminishes and you're left with fucking nothing. There's no fucking extreme thing because the character has fucking said it 46 times already. Clearly, they're not fucking reacting to these fucking extreme situations anymore. They're just saying the fucking word because that's what the fucking script said. Horrible fucking writing. And it also comes down to the fact that Hasman Hotel has come out five fucking years ago. And back then, saying the word fuck, bitch, shit, or any of these swear words, way back when, if you were fucking 14, 13, or 16 when this fucking show came out, you would have been laughing your ass off. You would have been... <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, they said, fuck, I can't fucking believe this shit, bro, oh my god, fucking, ah, ha, ha, ha. But this first episode comes out to us in 2024 on the 19th, I believe it officially releases. Now, you could see the fucking issue, right? Those 16-year-olds, those 14-year-olds, all of a sudden, they're... Five years have passed, they're 19, 21, 23, right? They've fucking grown up. They don't fucking find the same fucking humor, the exact same fucking as they did when they were younger. It's horrible. I think they fucking waited too long to be able to release Has Been Hotel, and a lot of people have finally caught on to the fact that swearing after every single sentence isn't funny anymore. The little fucking toilet humor, the little fucking sex humor is not funny anymore. Hopefully Hasman Hotel will be able to capture a new audience that they can keep going, but if it fucking continues like this, then unfortunately, I don't think Hasman Hotel is gonna stick around. I think your fucking audience has grown up. Saying the saying swear words is no longer funny to adults. It was funny when we were fucking kids when he first made it five years ago, but no more. One thing I wanna fucking praise this uh, TV show for though, is the fucking songs. Oh my. Out of the fucking worst writing you could think of, to some of the best banging soundtracks. The a a voice actors for Charlie, her voice is so angelic. A Soviet launch detection. Bemuse confirmed a massive attack. That's a warning, no malfunction. Confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high. Cobra Day, this is an exercise. Negative, this is not an exercise. General, DBS is tracking 300 inbound Soviet ICBMs. It's so beautiful, and the songs are such a bop. I don't know why they waste all- I think they actually waste all their mo fucking money on fucking hiring, uh, voice talents or fucking hiring songwriters or producers. They don't fucking waste it on the, uh, writers. They have one fucking silly guy on an IBM laptop somewhere fucking rotting away in his basement who's just writing the shittiest scripts on pennies on the dollar. Meanwhile, their fucking music producers, they're just absolutely flaying it with some Hans Zimmer or some shit in the back, giving it all he's got to these things. It's so incredible. It's weird to go from all of this stuff to just banger after banger. Props to them. It's fantastic. I'd like to also give some props to the Radio Demon. That man is the only scary thing in this whole show. A story about hell, you think there'd be more creepy things, but no, this guy is the only thing that I was like, whoa, that's a bit creepy. Everything else is kind of a joke or played for jokes, just like this entire fucking video, huh? Are you s still tired of me saying fuck, huh? You want me to fucking stop, huh? No, fuck, 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 fuck. It's not fucking good.
It's horrible fucking writing. So what I give the show right now, well, there's only fucking two episodes out right now, so I wouldn't really rate it right now, and I'm not going to show any of it because that is leaked content. I'm not distributing that shit, huh? Fuck you. I'm not doing that. Anyway, that's going to be it for me and my little review on the first two episodes of Hasbun Hotel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all in another video live stream. Goodbye.